What is going on guys? My name is Kenji and welcome back to my channel. I hope it's not the first time you're watching one of my videos, but just in case it is, I'm a final year medical student and also a biomedical science graduate studying King's College London. And as you guys know, reading is one of the best hobbies that I absolutely love doing all the time. I almost always have a book in my hand. And in this video, I'll be taking you guys through the entire process about how I read one, two, and even sometimes three books a week, and especially how to do so enjoyably. But before we get started, I wanna quickly say that if you guys wanna check out all of the books that I have read, in my entire life and I highly recommend you guys follow me on Goodreads down below. As I said, you'll be able to see all of the books that I've read and also the books that I'm currently reading and also my kind of ratings and review of all of these books. So click the link down below if you guys want to follow me on Goodreads. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first tip being read what you love, then you will love to read. And I want to say that again, I know it's kind of confusing, but read what you love, then you will love to read. And what that essentially means is that it's already quite difficult to pick up a book and make it a habit to reading. That's something that I can 100% say the actual habit of learning to read and getting into reading can be super, super difficult. So what I would recommend is that if you want to actually start reading, don't start reading all of the kind of like hot books that are like really popular, like Twilight or Sapiens or whatever, which are super thick and really, really hard to actually read. What I would actually recommend is that if you want to get into the habit of reading, start with the books that you actually personally love to read, not books that everyone is telling you to read or pressuring to read. Read the books that you genuinely want to read and once you actually get in the habit of reading through reading what you love then you will eventually love to read and then you can slowly branch out into reading other books like sapiens and more like difficult complex books once you get into the habit of reading those books will actually become a lot easier to read and that's when you can finally start dipping your toes in different categories different genres and different books because you will already have that innate ability to go through books because you have developed that habit to actually sit down and read and that's the first tip that i have for you guys read what you love and then you would love to read. The second tip that I have for you guys, which I honestly wish I applied and learned a huge number of years ago, is to actually combine reading with Audible and also using wireless earphones like um, AirPods. Now, I've honestly rambled about this on my channel so, so much, but Audible is the number one subscription that I have. And if I had to choose any sort of subscription in the entire world, whether it's Netflix or YouTube or whatever, it would 100% be Audible because Audible is the number one subscription that has actually added a huge amount of value to my life. This is not uh, sponsored by any means. I absolutely just love Audible and I actually find it's a lot easier to listen to books compared to reading books. Now, I definitely always do read books physically on my Kindle, but when I'm actually out and about doing things like maybe uh, driving to the gym in my car or doing my laundry or doing my dishes, I almost always have my AirPods in my ear and I'm actually reading to an audiobook. Apparently, we have around two hours a day of downtime where we're doing certain tasks. Like I mentioned, you know, monotonous tasks like doing the dishes or whatever. And if you can actually apply a reading to that time where you're doing all of these tasks, not only will it make these tasks more enjoyable, but you'll also be able to get through a huge amount of books. Using Audible, I personally get through around one and a half hours to two hours of books every single day, which actually means that within two and a half days, I can actually go through an entire book and I often end up getting really kind of engrossed and involved in the book, not just because I'm you know reading something really interesting, but also I'm having the real author read that book back to me. So for example, when I was reading uh, Michelle Obama's uh, Becoming, actually having Michelle Obama's voice in my ears and in my head, and to be able to hear her tell her life story to me, honestly felt like I had her in the room and it was so inspiring and so amazing. So I highly recommend you guys check out Audible. Also, when I'm going through my audiobooks, what I've actually taught myself to do is to listen to books at at least two times speed. If you slowly try and ramp up the speedometer on your audiobook from you know 1 to 1.1 to 1.3 to two times speed, what you will slowly develop is the ability to listen and engage in books at a faster speed because oftentimes you have a reader who reads super super slow and there's nothing worse than that so I often try and speed up the book as much as I can to the point where I'm slightly uncomfortable but pretty comfortable in actually listening to it at that speed and that means that I'm able to get through books instead of you know 10 hours time for example it'll actually take me less than half the time and I can get through a 10 hour book in around two and a half to three hours because of that. The only thing with listening to audiobooks is to be careful not to kind of feel pressured to do this all of the time. Like it's also super, super important to take time to reflect and think about your life while you're doing the dishes and while you're actually folding your clothes. That time to reflect and to slow down and let your brain kind of rest is super, super important. So just be careful and be aware to not fall into the trap of constantly consuming content all of the time because that has definitely burnt me out in my past. But as long as you're applying it in the right way, it can be super beneficial. You can apply this principle with pretty much 
much any wireless um, headphones or earphones. I personally love AirPods so much. And the reason why I love AirPods and I recently got these uh, is because the friction of actually starting a book is super, super low. You know, as soon as you open up the AirPods, they connect to your phone automatically straight away. So I literally open it, put it in my ears and I click the play button or ask Siri to actually uh, start playing the book. So within three seconds to four seconds, I'm instantly picking up where I left off. So using AirPods or again, any sort of wireless earphones you have when applied to an audiobook on Audible is super, super key. And I highly recommend you guys try this out for yourself. The third tip that I have for you guys to try and read more often is to build it into your daily routine. Now, as I said, whenever I'm doing some sort of task like washing the dishes, I always have audiobooks on. Similarly, whenever I climb into bed at night, the last half an hour before I uh, go to sleep is always spent reading. And I actually read on my Kindle literally until the last second where my eyes fall shut. And as soon as that happens and I'm about to fall asleep, I quickly put my Kindle away. So honestly, the last like half an hour or so, every single day before I, I go to bed is dedicated to reading on my Kindle. And that is a no brainer. That's just something that is in my habit and in my life schedule that I do every single night. What's also kind of sort of built into my routine is whenever I'm on holiday or on the weekends, there is nothing I can imagine that is better than sitting on a nice sunny beach with an audiobook in my ears or even having my Kindle out. And I can honestly sit on a beach for like three weeks straight just reading and just getting engrossed into the world of whatever book I'm trying to read. So if you're struggling to read, my honest advice to you would be to try and think about where in your day you can fit in the habit or the routine of reading. Now it might be like, you know, what I suggested um, whenever you're doing any sort of task or maybe, you know, before bed or maybe on your morning commute or during your lunch break at work, literally whatever time you can find to carve out of your schedule to build in a routine of reading that, you know, 20, 30 minutes you have will honestly have the potential to change your life by reading more books. As well as trying to build reading books in your routine, another suggestion that I have to help you guys read more books is by using a service like Shortform, who are also kindly sponsoring the video. And the thing is guys, we all want to learn more than we have time for. I imagine that you probably like me have a huge list of like two reads. The bottom line is that we all have books that we want to read, but we don't necessarily have time for. Shortform is a service that produces a number of high quality uh, guides to nonfiction books and it comprehensively covers all of the book's key ideas in a way that is simple and easy to understand. It's kind of like having your smartest friend try and teach you a book because not only does it produce a very nice, super powered summary of a book, but as well as that, it also adds its own commentary and analysis to allow you to understand the books that you want to read at even a deeper level. Short form covers a huge number of genres, including health, relationships, um, economics, business, literally any sort of genre you want to read in non fiction is covered by short form. And the way that I personally use it is that if there is a particular book that I really, really enjoyed and I want to kind of read it at a deeper level, I would go on to short form and try and read and understand the commentary and analysis that they added to try and see things from a different perspective to what I originally understood. I also use short form in a way where if I have a book on my reading list where I do really want to understand the key ideas in that book, but I don't necessarily have the time or want to invest the time in reading the whole entire book, which might be like 50 hours long on Audible or like 400 pages, then I will go into short form and read that book and get all of the key main ideas from that book using short form. One book that I recently read on short form, which I loved so much, and it was actually on my reading list to read for like three years, was Jab Jab Right Hook by Gary Vaynerchuk. And that really taught me how to take my business to the next level and how to continue providing value to people while also improving my business alongside my medical school degree. If you guys want to check out short form for yourself, then I actually have a unique special link that you can use to get a five day free trial. It'll be on the screen somewhere here and also in the description down below. So I highly recommend you guys check out Shoreform. At least try it out for a few days time and hopefully that will help again, get you guys into the habit of reading books. Let's move on to the next tip. Now the next tip that I have for you guys to read more books is to get a Kindle. And you honestly don't need a Kindle to read more books. But for me personally, the day that I actually took the step to invest in a Kindle, which only cost me like 50 or 60 pounds, was the day that my the number of books I read actually skyrocketed. And one of the main reasons for that is due to portability. Like look at how small this thing is. It's really probably the size of my hand, not even the size of my hand. And because of how portable it is, it means that whenever I'm on the move, like, you know, maybe on my commute, or if I have like 20 or 30 minutes available at work, this is always on me nicely slid into my jacket pocket or even my jeans pocket. Like that's literally how small it is. And the fact that I can instantly have my, any sort of book available to me uh, at an instant with the least amount of friction possible means that I'm a lot more likely to actually want to read 
because of how frictionless it is to start reading that book. Another reason is because I have access to thousands and thousands of books instantly on my Kindle. So whenever someone like recommends a book for me and says, Kenji, that's a really good book. You should check it out. I instantly take this out of my pocket, go into my Kindle and buy it straight away. No brainer. And that actually really excites me to, to, to move on to the next book and to start reading that next book. So it actually kind of psychologically makes me speed up reading whatever book I'm currently reading in order to start that new book that I've just downloaded. It's also actually improved my own experience of reading. Like when I read, I love how you can highlight any sort of books, any sort of text that you find interesting on that book. And that will automatically sync with my notion on my laptop. So I always have instant access to all of the key highlights that I got in a book, which is super, super key. I also like how there's like a dictionary on it straight away. So whatever word that I don't understand, I can straight away read and understand and improve my grammar. And lastly, I love how my Kindle also integrates very, very well with my Goodreads account so that whenever I, you know, read a book, it will automatically sync with my Goodreads and add to my library of read books. Whenever I have a book that I want to read, I can add that to my Goodreads account as well. Again, there's a link in the description down below to check out Goodreads if you want to. And I also love how Kindle also has Audible. So whenever I want to kind of listen to a book and I don't want to have my annoying phone with me with all those notifications and all the social media, I'll just take my Kindle and I can either read books on my Kindle or listen to them on Audible because it also has Bluetooth and can connect to any sort of Bluetooth earphones you have. And that's my whole entire speech on a Kindle. Highly recommend you guys make the investment. It definitely will increase the number of books you read. Let's move on to the last tip that I have for you guys. The final tip that I have for you guys is to actually lower the barrier that you have to give up on books. Now, I think what society has really told us, especially growing up as kids, is that you must finish books. If you've paid 10 pounds to read a book, then you have to read it cover to cover, even if that's a 700 page long book that you absolutely hate. And I think that probably came with like, you know, being in high school and having English classes where you will be forced to read, you know, around a book that you don't even like. And I think that's a, a, a kind of a bad way of approaching books, because if you're forced to read a book that you don't like, you will automatically stop wanting to read that book and stop wanting to read as a whole until you get through that entire book. So the way that I treat books is kind of like blog posts. If I find a book that I have bought and I read the first, you know, 20 pages and I think actually this book is kind of shit, I will literally throw it away and never come back to it ever, ever again. And I'll move on to the next book. Out of, let's say, maybe eight books that I've chosen, I may only like the top six books and not like the other two books. And I'll be very, very happy to move on my life, throw away that book and move on to the book that I actually want to read so that my habit of actually reading is not broken because of books that oversell themselves or books that I thought might be good and actually end up, you know, to be rubbish. So my last tip that I have for you guys is lower the barrier to disregarding and throwing away books that you do not like and move on to the books that you do like. So again, you can love to read by reading what you love. And that is pretty much all the tips I have for you guys. I hope it's added value to your life. Before you go, here are a bunch of videos that I've made on my channel to do with books and to do with things that you hopefully like as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. Drop a like down below because it took me so long to film this video. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.